Hi, and welcome to Poly Pavilion, located at the campus of UCLA, home to the legendary John Wooden and the UCLA Bruins. My name is Monique Billings, and this is Spotlight featuring myself. By the end of last season, I was one of three players to compete in all 37 games as a forward for the Bruins. Leading the team in field goal percentage, I quickly found my stride during my freshman season. By the end of the year, I was named to Pac-12 Honorable Mention All-Freshman Team. This is Spotlight. You have so much going on, girl, like between being Instagram famous, oh being a full-time D1 student athlete, being a model. Tell me how you keep all of that in one life. <laughs> it's crazy. Sometimes I don't even know how I do it, but I like to keep busy. I don't like to, you know, waste opportunity. And I mean, you're only in college once, so I want to do everything that I possibly can while I'm here. I normally do not indulge in rumors at all, but I heard an amazing rumor about you that before you graduate, you're going to do a breakaway dunk. That is, you know, I confirmed that rumor. I would definitely like to, you know, I've practiced it, but now I'm hoping, you know, one of these days I'll get one in a game. I hope I'm here to see it. It better be here. Oh, definitely. Okay, okay, because <laughs> I better be here to see it. All right, cool. You have such a, a beautiful amount of confidence. Where does that come from? Oh, thank you so much. And I would say my confidence definitely comes from my dad. He, he has a lot of confidence. And just growing up, I've always seen him and just modeled what he's done. So it's definitely, um, I don't know, I've picked that up over the years. What helped form your decision and desire to come to UCLA? I definitely wanted to come to UCLA when Coach Corey said um, she wanted to be the first in the history of the program to raise a banner here. That caught my attention because other programs, you know, people have the baton passed to them and, you know, that's cool for some people, but I definitely wanted to be the first and do something special. When you look at the fabric of the UCLA family, one of the things that Coach Shannon was talking about was how this team is built on character, teamwork lifting each other up, but you're also empowered to be beautiful women, strong women who can kick behind out on the basketball floor. Most definitely. Um, I would say Coach Perry does say that quite often, all the coaching staff. Um, they want us to feel beautiful inside and out and just love ourselves first and make sure that we're right with ourselves before even stepping on a court and grabbing a basketball. When the photo shoot happened this year, which is always something very special. Yeah, for sure. You were part of that. Tell me about that process. The photo shoot is so awesome. Like, we, I cannot thank Coach Corey and the staff enough for giving us that opportunity, just because we get to use those pictures after college, now, for anything. It's just a blessing to be able to do that. What was that process like, and were you surprised by the cost of everything? Gosh. Yeah, the cost was crazy. It made me appreciate the whole process so much more just because I saw how much everything cost, where the money was going to. Like, you have to get a venue, uniform, pay for people, food. Like, it's no joke. And all we have to do is show up and look pretty and smile. So it made me see a whole different side of things and really appreciate it. And how did that photo shoot go? Photo shoot was awesome, it was fun. Um, yet to see the video. I have seen some of the pictures though, and I like them a lot. I think they're really pretty, and the photographer was great, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. Describe to me your reaching out to Denise Curry, and why? Denise Curry is a UCLA legend, women's basketball. Her jersey's retired, it's hanging up in Poly. So I really look up to her. She was a post player, and she was one of the, um, on the, I think, the first women's basketball team here, which is so awesome. So she just paved a way for me and the other girls on the team. Mm -hmm. But she's been awesome, giving me a lot of great advice. And she comes to all the games, so she's That's a awesome. great person. What, what are some advice that she's given you? She, I reached out to her last year when times were tough. Just being a freshman, I was just really unsure of my own ability and just you know, just questioning why did I choose to come here and she really just reassured me and told me just to stick with it, stick with the process and um, just to believe in myself and it was nice knowing that someone so great, I mm -hmm. guess you could say, has such great things to say about me 
and who someone believed in me, so it made me believe in myself even more. What do you want young girls to see when they look at you, when they look at this team? I would like young girls just to see that it's possible to make it and just do whatever, you know, whatever you can, whatever you dream of doing, it's possible. Did you ever realize until you started coming, until you started playing for Coach Corey and her staff that mm -hmm. you really do have to love yourself first to put the team in a great position to win? That is so true because confidence is everything. You constantly have people on social media and even just, you know, people at school who won't believe in you or try to tear you down. So you have to believe in yourself first and it comes with from, you know, within here before anyone else, you know, could say anything else. Monique, thank you so much. Thank you. And that was Spotlight with Monique Billings.